Today I'm going to be doing yet another battery drain test on the iPhone 14, always on display. So we have one with color, one with an all black wallpaper, and one disabled. Now this is going to be a full test from 100% all the way down to 0%. Now these are all brand new iPhone 14 Pro, so 100% battery health. And also keep in mind these results may vary because you're using the phone, so you're going to probably drain a little bit more battery life if you're using maps or listening to music it's going to tend to probably drain the most battery life i even have all of my apps installed on all of these iphones so i have youtube TikTok. so all of these apps are installed um, just for testing purposes i am working on a drain test on the iphone 14 once the iphone 14 plus comes into the studio of course i'm going to be doing that train test so if you guys want to see that video make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on
and ladies and gentlemen there you guys have it that is the test and as you can see having an always on disable is the absolute champ it's coming in at a whopping 70 percent 70 hours in at 70 percent that is incredible and now i would fully drain this iphone but man 70 hours guys wrap your mind around that for a second and besides this video is focusing on the always on display on the iphone 14 pro the whole entire test was just time lapse because 70 hours is a long time so i just fast forward everything so you guys not sitting through it occasionally i check the iphone that has the always on disabled that's why you see like the slow-mo clips on there so you guys can see now when it comes down to an all black wallpaper with the always on display enabled you can see it lasts a little bit longer compared to the color but it's still drained just as fast uh kind of surprised at that because the all black wallpaper as we know the iphone 14 pro has an uh, oled display so i figure that should be a little bit on par not exactly but it should be on par with having the always on display disabled with that percentage now for anyone who's saying oh why you don't do this test on the max here's why look at that shipping date you know i wanted to get another pro max for testing but man those shipping dates are no joke i gotta wait a whole month just to get the pro max i only have one yes i should have probably picked up another one when when it was time but i didn't know it was going to be this bad it is hard to get an iphone 14 pro um, what if you get in the max or the standard iphone 14 pro but no matter what if you're going with the pro max or the iphone 14 pro this is still going to be the same exact results in the sense of the black always on display is going to drain the same speed rate or if not it's going to be a little bit slower just because of the battery capacity but this is just giving you an idea if you're going with the max model it's still going to drain just as fast just want to just clear that up and also i must note look at that time it is almost four o'clock in the morning editing this video doing this test so you guys gotta thumbs up the video just for that the dedication and just the grind and let me know in the comments down below which setting would you pick would you have an all black wallpaper would you have a color wallpaper or would you just disable always on completely let me know down in the comments down below and make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this one stay tuned for the battery drain test on the iphone 14 plus and just more apple videos in general they are coming until next time guys have a simple day peace